Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are doing a Halloween makeup! I think that the concept for today is pretty much obvious. I will do a Halloween themed makeup, but here we have a little plot twist. I have bought some outfits, basically some clothes, and I combined them by myself to create outfits. And what we are gonna do is that we will go out at the forest to do a photo shoot with this Halloween makeup that now it's not there, but it will be there. You understood. And then I will combine the makeup with the clothes and we will do it. So the basic idea for the Halloween series is to have two videos with makeup. Today is gonna be a little bit more extreme and next time will be a little bit more wearable. You will see. <laughs> and um, then we will have a third video where you will see how I change my hair and the makeup combined with the outfits. Sounds exciting, right? So, are you ready? Let's start! Before I start, I would like to make two disclaimers. Firstly, obviously this is not gonna be my Halloween outfit and these are not gonna be my Halloween jewelry, okay? I'm just wearing that for the video because I don't wanna ruin the surprise for you. And secondly, I think today for sure and maybe next time I will not uh, focus on some basic steps on my makeup, like how am I doing my brows or how am I doing my base, like uh, foundation and concealer and stuff like that, because you already know what I'm doing and which products I'm using. Of course, I will have everything down at the description box if you're still interested, <laughs> but I'm gonna skip it because I wanna focus on the eyes and I'm gonna focus on the procedure. So I wanna save your time and just move forward to the juicy part. And as I promised you, I have done my brows off camera. I'm wearing this cutie right here, which is very Halloween themed. I have primed my eyelids and now I will use this palette right here. This is the Vixen from VE Cosmetics and I said that I'm very proud to use it. Uh, by the way, this is the color scheme that you will find in the palette because uh, actually if you buy this palette they are collecting money and they are donating money in order to protect foxes from hunting and if you read the name of the shadows the beauty of the vixen is visible in your eyes we will fight this together it's so inspiring i love them i love the whole you know mentality of this company they are cruelty free they are vegan they're amazing so go and check their web page anyway i'm starting my tutorial by using uh, a red this one the and maybe i might need the uh, another color to try to blend it out but definitely I'm gonna use another palette and uh, I will try to find the beige to diffuse that a little bit I will try to go inside here because I'm thinking to try to do um, halo eye not exactly a halo eye but very close to this idea so this is gonna be my base uh, you see, I have a contrast between my eyes and my hair, which makes me so happy. And then I will go with uh, a lighter color. I'm gonna use again the, the other one, this one right here. And with this, I'm gonna try to see if I can diffuse it or if I need to... Oh, yep, it's so good. And I will try to use their golden shadow, which is eyes. To make this pop um, a little bit more, I'm gonna use from Urban Decay the All Nighter Setting Spray. I brought another palette. This is a used version from Going Coconuts from Colourpop and I'm gonna take the first one this color right here which is called 
shred it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to take this color right here, Ease, which is um, a red with shimmer inside. I'm taking my damp brush and I'm just diffuse it here. Yeah, so here we have the halo eye. And let's go with the color together, this one right here. So let's start from this outer corner. I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just blending. I will take again a clean brush, a small one, and I'm going with Natty and deepen up here a little bit more. Nice! So, I'm gonna fix some details here. I'm not gonna add any extra color. I'm gonna do the other eye and then I will be back. Okay, as you see, the eyes are done now. I have used the same technique for under the eye area. If you can see like uh, dark red and then the golden. And now I'm gonna do the difficult part. I will try to draw some bats because I think it's gonna be very cute and Halloween's and I have already spoiled by using this. So for this, I'm gonna use the Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX. I'm gonna start with something tiny in order to be able to correct. Oh my God, this is not going well. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can, right? Here we have the first bat. It's kind of cute and nice. I have this very cute um, stamp from Milk Makeup and it's gonna be Mules. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. The bats are here and here, also Moon. Also, I have applied eyelashes and now after I finish with my base, and here I tried some lipsticks, uh, I will go with the face and I will start by doing the blush. For that, I'm gonna use a combination from Rare Beauty, the Love shade. I'm gonna use from MUA, blushed in the shade Watermelon in order to have something more vibrant. So I'm mixing a little bit the blushes and I'm applying it on my cheeks. I haven't applied any kind of powder on my face right now. So cream on top of cream and this will make the whole blending way more easier. So I'm just diffusing the edges here. Remember I haven't applied any bronzer yet so this will definitely make things look better. I feel that we are done with the blush. We are moving on to another liquid product. Here we go with the Glossier and play as a highlighter, but this is not gonna be the only highlighter that I'm gonna use. I'm applying the highlighter and I'm blending it. I will use an extra from Rihanna and Fenty Beauty. This duo right here which is the Diamond Bomb and I'm gonna use this highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and under the brow area because I didn't use anything. Uh, again, I'm spraying, but I'm not spraying a lot more. That's great. I'm gonna blend everything with the brush that I have used for the highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna use it as a normal highlighter of my cheeks. For bronzer, I'm gonna use from Evelina for Cells palette, the shade Coffee. This one right here. And I'm gonna try to do some bronzing here and there. Not too much, just to give some dimension to this face. ready we are ready for the powder and for the powder I'm gonna use 
Flawless Face from W7. And what I'm doing is mainly applying to the T zone. I'm gonna surprise you and I'm gonna tell you now the Greek word of the day without actually having finished with the makeup just because I wanted, you know, something different. So for today, can you imagine what I'm ready to tell you? Okay, so today I will tell you the word for but. So in Greek we say nichterida, ni da. Nichterida, nichterida. Can you say with me? Nichterida. Nice. As always, I will ask you to try it, write a comment, Halloween themed, even better, using the word Nichterida. I'm waiting to see your creativity and the best comments will be in one of my next videos. And now it's time for the lips. So I have chosen from NYX Copenhagen uh, as a lip pencil and then I'm gonna use again from NYX, again Copenhagen as a lip cream. Yes, so you will see the result. It's gonna be very nice and bumpy. So the last step is to apply my favorite setting spray, which is from Urban Decay All Nighter, to make sure that this makeup will last as much as possible. Let me see. Nice, it's the first time that I don't have lipstick on my teeth. If it's not amazing, then, then what is it? Anyway. So that's pretty much the makeup for today. Thank you so, so much for being here with us today. If you want to see more Halloween content, do you know what you should do? Subscribe to my channel. And of course, don't forget to ring the bell. Yes, follow me on Instagram because I will upload the photo shoots there as well. And also, don't forget to leave your comment down below. Again, Thank you so, so much for being here with me today and bye-bye!